This week's video is a customer requested topic about the measure and re-anchor command. So let's take a look. So in this video, I'm going to show you the measure and re-anchor options that you see in a lot of the dialogues inside of Fusion. For example, if I pre-select this profile, right mouse click and select extrude, you'll see the extrude dialog appear. And next to the distance, you'll see these three little dots. And if I click on that, you'll see measure and re-anchor. You'll also see those three little dots in the distance dialog that's floating out in the viewport. If I click those three little dots, I also see measure and re-anchor. So what does measure do? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start to drag my profile here, and you can see I'm at some random distance, 0.359. And let's say that I want this extrusion, uh, it's kind of like a little foot, I want it to be the same thickness as this other body is here. So I'm going to come in here and say measure. And then I'm just going to click on, for example, this line. And when I click on that, it measures the length of that line that I selected and inputs that into the distance field. Let's do that again. I'll go ahead and click the three little dots. I'll say measure. And then I can click on, for example, maybe this line here and that line is 0.75, so it changed the extrusion to 0.75. The other way you could use measure is you'll notice I have a fillet on one side but not on the other. I could go ahead and create a fillet, um, but I don't know what size that is, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on measure, click on the existing fillet, and it figures out what size that fillet was, and inputs that in as the fillet size. So that's kind of where you use the measure command probably the most is measuring existing features uh, and then using that uh, when you're creating new features. So you don't have to come into the inspect menu, measure this, and then remember that number and then type it in when you create the other fillet. You can use the measure command right inside of the extrude or the revolve or the fillet or the chamfer uh, commands. Now what about the re-anchor command? So I'm going to use this example again. I'll pre-select this profile. I'll say extrude, start to drag. And in this example, I want the foot to be one and a half in total length. And we can see this little black line, this kind of black arrow here, is showing that this measurement is from where the face was to where the face is going to. And in this case, it's 0.347. Well, I want this total length to be an inch and a half. So I'm gonna click on the three little dots and I'll say re-anchor. And then I can select, for example, this back face. And now you can see that it's measuring from that back face to the front face. And we can specify our distance of 1.5 and now the total length is an inch and a half. In fact, if I click on this bottom line, we can see that, that sure enough, that's an inch and a half in length. I really use the re-anchor command quite a bit. And it's especially useful in examples where for, let's just say this was like an imported model, it didn't have any sketches or anything that kind of defined the overall size or shape of this. And I wanted to make changes to the height. So for example, I might come in here and say for, for example, like press pull, and I can start to drag, and you can see it's showing how far we're dragging that face from where it was. But if I came in here and said re-anchor, we select, for example, the bottom face, we can now say what the overall height of this is. So we could say we want it to be 5.5 in height. And now if I were to measure that really quick, sure enough, we can see that it's five and a half inches tall. So that's how you use the measure and the re-anchor commands inside of Fusion. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. If you need help learning Fusion, visit my webpage at cadedllc.com. And as always, have fun learning Fusion.